What up, bro? This your guy, BA for Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up. Media salute, salute, salute. Salute to everybody that's out there rocking. It's been rocking for a minute, man. The channel is growing, and I appreciate y'all 100%. But first and foremost, make sure y'all hit that like button, share the content, because this is how the channel grows. But with that being said, today in breaking news, we got a solar eclipse coming in A. I know we're supposed to be talking about that, but nah, man, J. Cole just decided to step out and decided to talk his ish, and he decides to, he decides to actually talk to uh, the fans and apologize to Kendrick, and he gets deep into it. He gets deep into conversation about it, and I thought this was interesting, but without further ado, uh, let's see what J. Cole is talking about. He actually said some interesting words, but talk, Mr. Cole, let's go. Project. Except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bitch, boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Boom, 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 right? Niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And, like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that i just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I wanna say right here tonight, is in the midst of me doing that and in and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touched a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bruh, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm gonna take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years so all of that to say man I want to I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God and the name of the song is called Love Yours I want to do that for y'all right now so there you have it man my guy actually showed love, but this uh, this this says a lot about J. Cole's character. I know a lot of people wanted to see him go crazy. Me being one of them, I don't want. <laughs> I'm not trying to call. I'm not trying to call the kettle black because I wanted to see them talk crazy. But I understand that they probably got a relationship behind the scenes, and uh, you know he the one. Uh, from my understanding, J. Cole's the one that actually uh, introduced uh, Kendrick to Dr. Dre, which. After that, the, the the rest is history, you know. So I know they they I, I know that they go way back into the game with each other and all of that. And as they say, they are part of the three kings, the holy trinity of this era of uh, of, of hip hop, you know. Um, but 
with that being said, man, shout out to J. Cole, shout out to Kendrick Lamar, shout out to Drake, shout out to all three of these fellas. I know that J. Cole feels this way, but I know Drake don't feel this way, though. I know definitely Drake don't feel this way. Drake is, Drake is like, man, forget all of that, man. I want, hey, I, I want some smoke. So I know he's still cooking up something, but once again, shout out to both of these fellas, man. Uh, it's good to see two brothers get together uh, and actually, uh, well, one brother actually admit that he didn't really want to do this to his other brother or whatnot, and I think that's cool. Two melanated beings um, actually were hashing stuff out in the public. Well, at least one of them did. I'm sure I'm sure Kendrick going to look at this and be like, yeah, that's it's nothing but respect there. But anyways, I got to get up out of here. Uh, this shit got BA for Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. You rock with me. I rock with you. And if you're out there hating, just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not something to put my channel and I've been doing this for a minute, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming. And get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all tell me in that comment section what y'all think about what J. Cole did. Was it, was it, what was it? Was he being too soft? Was he, is he playing himself? Or was this some real stand up ish? me i choose the latter i think it was stand up and i can already tell that he was throwing little jabs he wasn't trying to go in crazy from what he uh from the project and the song that he just dropped of the seven minute drill so anyways and uh, with kendrick too kendrick he he's really taking more shots per se more at drake opposed to j cole too so damn the two best lyricists didn't even really get ah that's all right that's all right it's all love. But anyways, peace of love, man. If you don't got your bars up, you can definitely hold this L. This L is not for a loss. It's for a lesson. Why? Because we stay giving them. Peace and love. We up out of here. See y'all next one. Are they talking yeah. about the boy? Are they doing talk about the boy? Yeah. I hear him. Oh, uh, look, they want me dead. Heard it from Christ in my head. Yeah, that's what they said. I come around and be dead. Thought you I wanted the bread, so go get the spread. You know where I be? Come and see me. See what it be. Realest nigga in my city, I keep it 103. They want me dead. Heard it's a price on my head. Yeah, that's what they said. I come around and be dead. Thought they all wanted the bread, so go get the spread. You know where I be? Come and see me. See what it be. Realest nigga in my you already know what it is, your boy Murder Book, the Easy Man, Dot Mom representative, man. But right now, I'm chilling with the Moon Boys and to get your bars up. You just know how we play, man. Get your bars up, man. Your shit on the arm, oh, my shit, I got it. Oh. Get your bars up. Get your bars up. Yes, sir. Yo, love, bro. Appreciate it, man. All they talk about the boy. All they do is talk about the boy.